is there a link between XRP buyers and Ripple? Furthermore, XRP has been trading below its record high for up to five years and seven months, fueling speculation about a possible new high. Finally, Ripple Keto David Schwartz believes that digital currencies such as RP will someday, will someday replace the USD as the world's reserve currency. Continue reading to the end to find out more. Hello, and welcome to our channel, where we discuss the most recent happenings in the world of cryptocurrencies in general and XRP in particular. We'd like to send a special greeting to you if you're watching one of our videos for the first time. Please click the notification button to ensure that you do not miss another video. On this channel, the current drop phase and the price of XRP from suitable support at 60 cents. The altcoin dropped 36.5 in three weeks, falling from a peak of 93 cents on July 13 to a low of 59 cents. The previously mentioned support, which coincides with the 50 Fibonacci retracement line, provides buyers with a safe platform from which to continue the upward trend. Should you take a dip in this pool? If another wave of purchasing pressure drives the price of XRP down to 60 cents, it would indicate that buyers are getting a good deal. This demand pressure may result in a few trading days of sideways action, allowing buyers to regain strength. As a result, a likely breakthrough the 66 cent barrier would be the first sign of a rebound. The fact that the altcoin price is trading above the 100 and 200 day exponential moving averages, EMA, indicates that the overall trend remains bullish. The 40 Resi slope of the purchasers shows that they have enough momentum to support a strong turnaround. The SEX request to file an interlocutory appeal against Ripple's success on the other hand, has piqued the interest of cryptocurrency law experts. Earlier this week, the SEC requested permission to appeal Judge Annalisa Torres' judgment on Ripple's programmatic sale of XRP and other token distribution. Remember that Judge Torres determined that neither transaction met the definition of an investment contract, the third component of the Howey test, a reasonable expectation of rewards from the labor of others, was used in her decision-making. Which is notable. Judge Torres ruled that regular XRP buyers did not expect to gain directly from Ripple's initiatives. As a result, she determined that planned XRP exchange sales do not constitute securities. The SEC, on the other hand, recently requested permission to appeal the verdict after expressing its dissatisfaction with it. Since the verdict, leading legal experts have speculated on the probable outcome of the appeal. He mentioned buyers, Ripple, and XRP. According to Seelig, the SEC would have a difficult time overcoming the case's common business component. He believes Ripple will gain from the Second Circuit's decision on its other XRP distribution. Michael Seelig, counsel at the law firm Wilka Fair and Gallagher, recently contributed his voice to the topic in an interview with Coindesk. Whether or not investors intended to benefit directly from Ripple's venture, attorney Seelene predicted that the common enterprise portion of Huawei would create a hurdle to the SEC in its efforts to overturn Judge Torres' decision on programmatic sales. Several of us have been focusing on the common enterprise pronged for these programmatic sales. Even if there is a valid expectation of revenue based on the work of others, there is no relationship between the two. He particularly stated that programmatic sales are more challenging than other channels. As a result, the attorney proposed adding extra Howie prongs to the transactions. Furthermore, Seelig stated that programmatic sales and other forms of distribution do not ultimately qualify XRP as a security. I feel that XRP is still viewed as a non-security in these types of transactions, he added. Meanwhile, other legal experts have weighed in on the Sky v. Ripple lawsuit's common enterprise element of Hawaii. The U.S. originator of crypto law, attorney John Denton, maintained that the sex had not met the common business criterion. It's worth noting that the regulatory authority initially said Ripple is a common enterprise. Ripple abandoned the subject after demonstrating that XRP holders received no interest from the company.
Surprisingly, the agency has reversed its stance and now says that the common enterprise encompasses the whole XRP ecosystem, including exchanges and all XRP holders globally. Because the rationale does not hold up, the SEC subsequently asserted that XRP itself is the common enterprise. According to Attorney Deaton, the SEC did not meet the common enterprise factor. Even if the Second Circuit finds that Judge Torres applied Howie's third factor incorrectly to each transaction, he says the case will be remanded. He projected that in this case, Judge Torres would consider Erkshirb's programmatic sales and other payouts in light of the common enterprise component, which the SEC was unable to fulfill and still determine that they do not qualify as investment contracts. Furthermore, Live Coinwatch, a well-known cryptocurrency market analysis service, recently conducted a report on how long particular crypto assets have been trading below their all-time high values. According to the data, XRP has been trading below its all-time high for more than five years. Along with Stellar, XRP has been trading below its all-time high for the second longest period of any of the 30 cryptocurrencies covered by Live Watch. When compared to Bitcoin Cash, which peaked in December 2017, both assets have only lost one month's worth of value. Although the precise value of XRP record high is unknown, TradingView data estimates it to be $3.30, $0.01, XRP achieved its current record high of $3.31 in January 2018 following a powerful rally that saw it climb by a massive $15.73 in a single month, according to the statistics. Notably, before attaining the current all-time high, XRP previous all-time high was $0.39, cents, which it reached in May 2017. XRP dipped below the value for seven months, falling below the previous record high before reclaiming it in December 2017. However, XRP has been unable to regain the current all-time high after trading below it for five years and seven months, in what appears to be an altogether different turn of events. This unfavorable reality which has hampered XRP growth over the years, has been blamed on a legal conflict with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Bitcoin launched a previous bull run in 2020, one that XRP or was unable to profit from. The Itzechi achieved an all-time high of more than $68,000 in November 2021 as a result of the bull run. Similarly, several crypto assets reached their peak that year. XRP was, however, restricted by the legal pressure brought on by the sex case. XRP did not increase further, despite reaching a yearly high of $1.97 in April 2021. The judgment of Judge Annalisa Torres on July 13 addressed the regulatory status for XRP. The sex intention to appeal the judgment increases the pressure on XRP, but the fact that it is not security gives investors greater optimism. As a result, many market observers believe XRP will shortly set a new all-time high. A well-known cryptocurrency analyst anticipated that XRP will soon hit $8.50. As a result, XRP would hit a new high. Rumors of an XRP surge to $1,800 to $196 erupted around the XRP community as Ripple switched their attention to the derivatives market as previously stated, but skepticism prevails. Even though the coin obtained regulatory clarity as a result of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, attorney John Deaton noted that XRP did not hit $1. Despite gaining regularity clarity, Denton forecasts that XRP will not surpass its prior record, breaking high before Bitcoin. The big question today is whether XRP can dethrone the US dollar as the world's reserve currency. Please remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to be the first to learn about new XRP developments. The XRP community is buzzing once more after a prominent Ripple executive made a statement about the possibility of states using digital assets as a reserve currency. 
In a recent Twitter chat conducted by XRP Stewie, an anonymous member of the XRP community, David Schwartz, Ek2 of Ripple, asked whether two global reserve currencies could coexist. It is possible, Schwartz responded positively. The chief executive of Ripple based his case on the US dollar's dominant status as the reserve currency of most nations.